It is wonderful to have great technology, but that's not all that is required. Um, it also has to be used correctly, and that's what brings us to the topic of education. And our next speaker, Klaus Müller, has an innovative approach that shows us how medical education for professionals can become more accessible and more effective. He's the CEO of 123 Sonography, Klaus Müller, MedTech meets EdTech. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, everyone. Um, it was my pleasure to meet Brian in February, actually, in Boston, and to see their labs. Uh, the MIT labs are super famous, and I was honored to see, actually, how they really work, how the PhD students are really working on those slides, and there are a lot of PhD students, so it's ultimately true that Brian does not need any sleep, because he also needs to manage all his PhD students. Good. So, um, something about the hidden champion. Is anyone aware of the word hidden champion? Um, it's actually explained in a book from Professor Simon um, that in the Alps region uh, we do have a lot of hidden champions. A hidden champion is an unknown global market leader which most often relates to B2B business. So, as I'm at the university right now, let me start with a very simple experience I have gathered uh, over more than 20 years now in industry. Uh, that's what you normally get taught uh, how success looks like, and we all believe it's a straight line. Um, unfortunately, um, I have figured out myself, and I think most of uh, the experienced guys in here would agree, the way of success uh, actually looks more like on the right-hand side. And in fact, for one to three sonography, we are probably right now somewhere in here because we had to file insolvency end of May. So that's also part of business. Um, right now, uh, we have the confirmation that we're going to continue with the business. And uh, without bothering you, uh, it's a hashtag founder clash, which also happens to startups uh, some days. And nevertheless, we are uh, already having the good news that we're going to continue with the business. Just in fact that you also read about us uh, recently, I just wanted to give you some insight to that. Good. Something about myself. I also did my uh, engineering degree, um, but in Graz at the Technical University of Vienna. Um, then I started working in the automotive industry, and then I had the feeling that the internet space is much more interesting for me. So I changed over to Vienna, started to work for Max Mobil, late 90s, brought the BlackBerry to Austria, year 2002. And so continued my journey, was also working with Google for four and a half years. Uh, before I decided to become an entrepreneur myself, uh, which is the ultimate experience, looks like. Uh, and I founded uh, a company called Victory, spelled with a W for the success in the web, and became also CEO and partner of 123 Sonography. Uh, for the students in here, um, a very interesting story. While I was at university, um, only the first company existed I'm working for. Uh, so far, I have worked so far. So uh, if you're a student, if you're thinking too much about for which company one day you're going to work for, don't bother too much because most of them probably are not yet founded. Good. So uh, what is 123 Sonography aiming for? That's our target group. Um, that's a physician. Uh, it also could be a sonographer. And what's their biggest fear? What's the reason for them to educate themselves is the fear of failure. Uh, if a physician makes a failure, it's probably more difficult to fix it than if someone in the IT is making a mistake or somewhere else. So fear is the ultimate uh, ratio uh, behind doing education. Um, and our mission, actually, of 123 Sonography is to transform medical education and to be the number, on, number one online platform in this discipline, which plays back to the hidden champion. Today, uh, we are the global number one platform already in medical ultrasound, so I will give you a few figures afterwards, but we are, of course, very proud uh, that as we are from a very small country, uh, it's always something special if you become the market leader, the global market leader in your discipline. So, um, Brian already mentioned a lot about um, ultrasound. Um, in fact, if you're going to a hospital, you still see a lot of guys running around uh, with a stethoscope. Um, and does anyone have an idea how old this invention is? 
guessing. 100, more. 150, a little bit more. Close to 200 years. So um, no one of us wants to get examined with a tool which is that old while there exists something better. Um, ultrasound machines were pretty uh, expensive uh, just a while ago when they were invented. Uh, actually, an Austrian uh, played a very important role in creating the first ultrasound machine uh, for medical purpose. Uh, but that's how an ultrasound device looks nowadays. That's from Butterfly Network, and you can plug it into your iPhone. And uh, this device only costs $2,000. So that's something where Brian and his team is working on, which will be available in five years, ten years, maybe from now onwards, uh, but at a probably even significantly lower cost. So, and as it's especially in Austria and in the wealthier regions, it's nowadays no problem anymore for each medical doctor to own a medic an ultrasound device. The only showstopper in using ultrasound nowadays is education. And therefore, we are working a lot on education to make sure that the experts can really use it. Uh, some numbers about ourselves. Uh, we have more than 30,000 finishers of a diploma course. We have right now 450,000 registered users globally. Uh, we have the biggest community on Facebook. Uh, yes, we also do a lot of YouTube and video stuff. Um, and we reach more than 1 million globally on a monthly basis, which is a lot because there are just around 12 to 15 million physicians globally. So think about it, that this is already a significant reach in the target group globally. You know these scary situations where a patient is critically ill and your decision makes all the difference? You're not sure what the problem is. Yeah, ultrasound would give you the answer. But you don't have the skills. So you wait for an unmotivated senior colleague to finally appear on the stage. You always wanted to learn ultrasound so that you can join the growing crowd of those who made it to the other side. Wouldn't it be nice to be independent, competent, and better than others? Your attempts to learn ultrasound have been frustrating. Or you were scared off because your teacher made it look as if it was only for a handful of super brains. Because you were too busy, too many patients, administration overload. And it's difficult to take time off to visit lectures and seminars and to travel. Well, we have a solution that will solve these problems and definitely make you more competent and your patients happy. We've got a complete online ultrasound curriculum that fits your needs. For beginners and experts. Brought to you by experts in the field and competent teachers. Thousands of high quality images, hundreds of cases. Hours and hours of easy to understand video lectures. So what are you waiting for? You're only a small step away, risk free. Sign up for our free online courses now and join the largest international ultrasound community on the web. All courses are CME accredited. Good, thank you for that. So meanwhile, we have 13 different diploma courses, all are accredited uh, in the US, and these uh, CME credits can also be transferred to any other country globally. Uh, it's more than 120 hours of video content, high uh, quality video content. Actually, in the videos you may have seen uh, also the founder, Professor Binder, who is working at the AKH here in Vienna, and who had this great idea more than 10 years ago to start producing video tutorials to teach ultrasound. Um, speaking about digitalization, digital transformation, we all know that the small screen nowadays is even more important than the bigger screen. So mobile first, as I got uh, uh, taught at Google. Uh, so we also have launched uh, the second app uh, this year in um, February, where we do a lot of micro-learning. So we have the entire curriculum of the cardiology with more than 9,000 multimedia questions squeezed into an app and uh, launched the first few chapters of this uh, app in, in February and meanwhile have more than 400,000 questions answered already in this app platform. 
So customer first, at the end of the day, the most important is the user. Uh, we have an amazing good net promoter index. If any one of you guys is aware of this way to measure customer satisfaction, it's a simple question you ask uh, your client base. How likely would you recommend this product or this service to your colleague, to your friend? Uh, and by getting an answer between zero, no way, and 10 for sure, um, we measure the satisfaction rate of our clients, and here in the upper right hand, you see that 63% of our users are actually giving us a 10 out of 10, uh, which is amazing. And by the way, Apple is having a net promoter score of 73 up to 76, depending on the product, and we are at 83. So we are even beating Google, uh, Apple on, on the customer satisfaction. So it looks like the frustrated doctor, we help them um, to be happy uh, and to spend less time with education, uh, more entertained. And uh, um, just to mention this also in here, we acquired uh, last year a platform in the US, Sonoworld, which belongs as of January year 2019 also to 123 Sonography. And of course, we also want to continue uh, this journey and bring in also a lot of other portals and disciplines. Um, we're going to grow beyond ultrasound. Uh, radiology is the next big thing for us. Um, medical imaging um, is something which you can easily teach on video, and therefore we're going to move also into radiology pretty soon. So um, to end my presentation, I hope I'm doing well time-wise. Um, we believe education is the best medicine and therefore we are even changing from one to three sonography pretty soon into one to three medicine which is the condensed word for medicine and education the cinematic approach we are using and the you in the center is you and us our community we need to uh, be in contact with so thank you for your attention Thank you very much for this talk. And I think we do have a little bit of time for uh, one or two questions. I may ha might have a question. Um, my question is, uh, you moving from a hidden Austrian champion to the US, uh, or it even I heard even in China, you're somehow present a, a little bit. So what, what is the big, biggest obstacles there? What, what do you, would you recommend others following your, your pathway? Well, first of all, uh, the way I always express it is think big. Uh, therefore, we went into the US. Uh, we wouldn't know Brian um, as of today if we wouldn't have done that. Um, and uh, Boston, Cambridge is the hub in when it's about uh, medicine and, and healthcare. Um, the next big thing afterwards is China. If you, if you think about their acceleration, their growth, uh, that's something uh, we have in our radar. We are actually in discussions, but um, the... The values they represent, uh, they do not fully match with ours. So it's easy to get users there, but it's super hard to earn money with it. Uh, so therefore, we as a small company, we are actually um, trying to slow down the speed a little bit in China, while we'd like to increase the speed in the US. Uh, and therefore, uh, we're very optimistic that this year is also a harvesting uh, season in the US, uh, as we invested last year into the US. Thank you. Any more questions? Yeah, that's there's a question. Uh, ho hold on a second. You. Um, there is a mandatory training for the Austrian doctors that's yes. accredited by the um, doctors chamber. So all your trainings, are they accepted? So will they provide DFP points? Yes, DFP point, that's possible. The Ärztekammer is actually transferring the American ACCME credits. Uh, those are AMA uh, uh, one points, and you can exchange it uh, to the Austrian system. That's possible. It's easier from the US to Europe than the other way around, for some strange reason. <laughs> Good. All right, well, maybe I have one more question. Uh, I was quite, do, quite impressed that uh, your approach is so international, really want to reach uh, doctors all around the world, really. So I was wondering, um, can you really create videos or other materials which fit everybody all around the world, or are there differences? Uh, would it be even better to, to target audiences on different, different regions? Well, um, you know, 
I'm, I'm not a digital native, obviously, but um, I strongly believe in the internet and mm -hmm. that it's a global game and not just a game where you can conquer the neighborhood or something like that, as most of the companies obviously deal with it. Um, and it turns out that if you think global, you always find your target group. Um, as long as you're working in English, as long as you have a target group uh, like the physicians who are, uh, who are all well educated and who anyway each uh, medical conference is done in English. So by doing a video course in English you can reach your target group uh, and we have clients in more than 175 countries and whenever I'm checking the backend system who ordered the course today I'm really astonished because most of those countries I probably never ever going to see myself um, uh, personally but it's great to have them as a client. That's great. So the best of luck with that. And thanks Thank again, Klaus Müller. Thank you.